connected. Are you a rich man? What do you mean rich? What do you mean? You have a lot of possessions, a lot of money in the bank. Possession make you rich? I know I don't have that type of richness. My richness is life forever. What's up YouTube? It's the Fulbra. So last week I was having a conversation with Tim Kreitz of Tim Kreitz Adventures, a friend of mine. I'll put a link down below for his channel. And I was talking to him about let me get going. His recent videos and how much I'm really enjoying them. I said to him, I said, you know what, you're becoming a really one of my favorite storytellers on YouTube. You could be the next Bilma. And he said, who's that? I said, uh, B Wong, by way of motorcycle. And it occurred to me that you know, it's, despite people watching so many motorcycle content creators, motovloggers, whatever you want to call us, people not know, people that might not know those who came before you. I mean, that's kind of like stepping into a boxing ring and not knowing who Muhammad Ali is, as far as I'm concerned. But I digress. Back in '09, I think it was when I first bought my Ninja 250. I hopped on YouTube to kind of you know, learn more about the bike, and I ran into that first wave of pioneer motovloggers, let's call them, like um, 808 YouTube, Wooden Chairs, Z Magic 97, Dash of 83, uh, Rebel Yell 91, and Bilma. Uh, Bilma was Biwam by way of motorcycle, and uh, he had been riding for quite a long time. Now I'm gonna pull over here. He had been riding for quite a long time, and uh, by way of motorcycle, such a peaceful spot, I like it over here. By way of motorcycle was just his way of, um, to see all 50 states by way of motorcycle, that was his uh, goal. And uh, he started, I think, in 03 or 04, and he went to all 50 states, including Hawaii and Alaska, which he, was his last... Um, he and his buddy Trace, uh, Trace, uh, Bucisaurus Rex, actually his name is, they accomplished their last, um, 50th state in 2011. They went to Prudhoe Bay, Alaska on KLR 650s, which was an amazing, amazing, amazing video. And, and the greatest thing was he shared everything with us. He shared all these voyages and these expeditions and these operation that he called them, um, um, with his, with YouTube. And it was amazing. And, Back in the day, he was the closest thing to a YouTube superstar, I could say, because, I mean, he had, like, he had 5,000 subscribers that were, like, huge. Nobody had that. And, uh, you know, the motovlogging genre was smaller back then. But it was just cool that he took us along for that ride. And, um, you know, I, I became friends with him. We would talk on texting, email, on the phone, and just BS. And one day I got a call that he was going up to New England. He wanted to know if he wanted to meet up. And uh, he and Bucisaurus Rex met up with Mark and myself in the summer of 2013. And um, it was great. You know, we rode down to Long Beach, uh, stay, got, some, got something to eat on the boardwalk and hung out. And it was a good time. And it was really nice to finally meet the guy. And, you know, these are the kind of guys who would take a map, throw a dart at it, and wherever it landed, they would go for a ride. They were really unbelievable. They're... Vi they're videos were amazing to the point that not only was it it was kind of it would really immerse you in the experience of riding a motorcycle it would inspire you to ride a motorcycle it would inspire you to to document it and video it and they're one of the I would say Bilma is one of the main reasons that I actually put a camera on my bike or on my head or whatever and this is before all the GoPros that were amazing and all this easy technology and Bluetooth that we have today you know um, so I'm, I was very proud to be able to call him a friend and we would talk even he wasn't that active on YouTube recently but we would talk every now and again he'd give me a call I'd give him a call see how he's doing and then last night a mutual friend um, told me that Billy had passed and you know you get that really sick feeling in the pit of your stomach and you, you know you pray it's not real you play you pray it, it, it it's a mistake but I found that it wasn't. And I'm really sorry that he's no longer with us. And I don't mean to depress you. I don't mean to 
have you feel bad for me or, or anybody. That's not what I'm trying to do in this video. I, I just, I kind of want to celebrate all that he did and all the people he inspired, either to ride a bike, to put a, to put a video camera on your helmet, or maybe both. And if you don't know who Billy is, I'm going to put a link down below to his channel and, it, and also specifically to his 50 state motorcycle video because you should watch it. And I dare you not to be inspired. And Billy, I miss you. It totally sucks. But, you know, we won't forget. Ride safe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you.